Now joining us from Skype is Jean-Paul Palmeros. He is a former Supreme Commander of NATO's Allied Forces. Thank you so much for joining us here on France 24 today. Uh, I do want to start with the situation in Kherson. Some analysts have said that Russia is in fact laying a trap for Ukrainian forces, trying to make it look like they're withdrawing civilians and forces en masse. What's your read on that? Well, I think it's part of uh, any conflict uh, then you, you want to hide to your opponent what, what you are doing, actually. My, my understanding is that uh, the uh, Russians are entrenching in a certain way in Kherson. They, they will not leave the city as soon as that, uh, because uh, that was a major win uh, for uh, Mr. Putin uh, at the beginning of uh, this conflict. And uh, this is the only regional capital which has been taken by the Russian. Uh, and it is as, as well an annex, a so-called annexed uh, blast uh, in Ukraine by the Russians. So uh, they have to, to stay uh, and to make the, the life of the Ukrainian forces very tough to regain uh, Kherson. We've also seen attacks on power grids become a powerful weapon with winter nearing in Ukraine. Uh, do you think that we'll be seeing more? Well, this is a, a full. Uh, this is a, a strategy which is endorsed by Mr. Putin, is to make uh, the life of Ukrainians as tough as possible. He, he, have the, he has bombed uh, cities and now is attacking the, the grid and the water supply as well. So uh, this is true that the, the winter uh, looks uh, very complicated and very tough for the Ukrainians, but they, they have a, a, they have shown so far a great resilience. But uh, in fact, resilience has some limit and we have to see that. This is why it's uh, sensible to uh, plan for uh, uh, an evacuation if needed. Uh, but it is not the first and preferable option for the Ukrainians, I'm sure. I mean, Ukrainians very dependent on resilience, as you said, but also on foreign support, uh, money, weapons. Uh, do you think that we're going to see that support remain through the winter, through next year even? I would say hopefully for the for Ukrainians it will be the case, but there are some risks. We, we have uh, seen uh, in your pre previous uh, show that uh, the, the midterm elections are coming in the, in the U.S. Uh, let's see the results. And in Europe, there, there could be a, a kind of fatigue, a, a tiredness about uh, the situation because that has an impact on the population. So it is for the leaders, the European leaders, Western leaders, to uh, keep on uh, uh, demonstrating how uh, important is this war in Ukraine, how much the Ukrainians need our support and to show that uh, perhaps the Western people life will be a little bit tougher, but nothing to compare with the Ukrainian one. Uh, finally, I want to ask you a little bit more about the current Russian strategy. We saw uh, Putin upping the enlistment of young men, even convicts, to try to yeah. boost Russian forces in Ukraine. Uh, he took a bit of a hit of popular support in Russia. But is that uh, strategy working? Well, I, I don't think it's, it's working, really. Uh, and we will see that in the process. Uh, my feeling is that the Russians are losing a lot of young men. Uh, there are these new recruits, uh, they are not so motivated as it is understandable. They don't know why they are sent there. This is not their war. Uh, they have no objective uh, compared to the Ukrainians who are fighting for the land, fighting for their people, fighting for their freedom. So it makes a lot of difference. So uh, those... those uh, uh, those conscripts are, they are really uh, in a very tough uh, situation where uh, they, they struggle for their life, but they are not at all, neither uh, motivated nor equipped and trained to, to, to do these jobs. Former NATO Supreme Commander Jean-Paul Palmeros, really appreciate you taking the time to speak with us here on France 24. Thank you.